My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a beautiful 1968 Dodge. It is a genuine Super B. It's a 383 Magnum. This is the factory color combination. It's a clean, rust-free car with power steering, power brakes, easy to drive. Go to volocars.com and that's where you can read all the specs, study 100 pictures, and that's where you find prices on all of our collector cars we have for sale. If you just enjoy watching the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, join me. Let's go get stung in this Super B. I had a body man uh, advise me on this car, and it's a rust-free car. The underneath is virgin metal, never even been spray painted since it left the factory. It's all original metal, frame rails, floors. Up behind the tires there, the lower inner quarters, there's a little metal tab that they come with from the factory. It's all there. It's all untouched, clean, original metal. It has the factory undercoat still. And like I said, it hasn't been touched since it left the factory. The driveline looks really nice. The bottom of the motor is spotless. The bolts that hold the oil pan and the drain plug is clean. Uh, the casting code and the date uh, is proper for this car. Uh, it may not be the original motor, but it is the correct motor that's in there. Uh, the 727 Torque Flight transmission is very clean. The drive shaft, the whole rear end, the rear springs, it's all clean. Uh, I mean, like clean, like painted and smooth and nice. Uh, looks fresh. Uh, the car was restored in 2010. Uh, the paint is at least that old then, and the body is laser beam straight. It fits really nicely. Uh, they did put new quarter panels on. They spliced them and put new ones on. Uh, and the guy said it was mostly from dents and damage, not from rust. It is a bright blue metallic originally. The trim tag says QQ, and that's for the bright blue. Uh, it has a very nice paint job. The metal flake is laid out evenly. It's polished real glossy. It has turn signals on the fenders. That's an option. The bumpers were re-chromed. The rest of it's just real good original. The grill, the moldings on the hood scoop, the original antenna, all the stainless. It's all just really nice original. Nice shiny door handles. The vinyl top, though, that's bright white. It looks like it was just put on 10 minutes ago. I didn't want to put a handprint on it. Uh, windshield's new. The rest of the glass, very good original. It has some American Racing wheels. Uh, has the pop-out rear windows. Door jams are painted real nice. Weather strips are real good. Inside the trunk is very good, solid. It's original trunk floor, rock solid. It's not new, but it does have a jack and it has a spare. There's a new car cover in a box. The trunk mat was replaced. The weather strip was replaced. The blue that's sprayed in here is just kind of a dull blue, but under the trunk lid and the jam is glossy. It also originally came with the white bumblebee stripe that's all decoded on the uh, fender tag. The interior is very nice. Carpet, upholstery, door panels, headliner has all been replaced. The dash area is real good original. It's not broken or cut. It does have the factory tachometer. The gauges are a little faded. There's a few cracks in the steering wheel has an AM 8-track radio with the rear front and rear volume. I don't think it works, and you could clean up the chrome a little bit better on it. Uh, so overall, the interior is unabused, really good condition. The motor is stamped HP. That's the Magnum 383, 335 horsepower. does have an Edelbrock intake. Other than that, in the air cleaner, it looks stock. Stock manifolds, the motor's clean. Everything in here is clean. The brackets, the pulleys, the alternator, uh, power brake booster, power steering. Don't take that for granted. A lot of Mopars were just bare cars without that stuff. Batteries bolted down. It has the horns, has the washer bottle. 
Oh, those are headers on there. I thought they were stock manifolds. There's actually headers uh, for exhaust. And the engine bay is clean, straight, square metal, all painted blue. So bottom line, you got a real Super B, fantastic colors, rust-free metal, correct drive line. You got gauges, you got power steering, you got power brakes. Now let's see if it starts. There you have it. What more do you want? Tachometer works. The clock is not. Interior lights work. Yeah, that sounds nice. It has dual exhaust with stainless steel MagnaFlow mufflers. It just runs nice. I couldn't stop revving it. It just sounded too good. 68 has the round marker lights. Everyone likes those. Door shuts real nice. Yeah, everything lines up and fits good. They got this car sounding just perfect. The cam, the exhaust, they, they hit it right on the head. You don't need the AM radio to work. That's your music out back. So anyway, that's my impression of this Super B. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman. They'd be happy to answer your questions or concerns the best they can. They can get this delivered anywhere in the country. They can help get you financed. Visit volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.